Hi, and welcome to Seabike.com's video series. Today we have Billy Kanzler from Colnago, USA, here to tell us about the new M10. But as he likes to do, we can't start talking about the new evolution until we've kind of reviewed our history. So we have the old CX-1 carbon to explain where we've been and kind of where we're going with the new M10. Yeah, and the CX-1 really started a whole new chapter for Colnago. It was the first aggressive ultralight carbon frame that they have ever introduced. It was introduced in 2009. It continues in the line as the 2011 CX-1 Evo. It's the same frame with the same tubing, but we've gone to an internal cable routing on the top tube for the rear brake. Yeah, much cleaner. Much cleaner, cosmetically. Um, and also we do that with an internal routing. Uh, it's a structural routing. So you have actually a carbon tube built into the frame. So you can't get water into the top tube. And it's very easy for the mechanics to replace Thank the cable. You. you slide it in and it comes right out the back. So that's very nice for Absolutely. us as well. So this is, again, a very high modulus frame, a very ultra light frame for Colago. And it is a two piece construction. Mm -hmm. And we talked earlier about the evolution of the EPS model to produce the C59. Yes. Really, it's a revolution of the CX-1 to get to the M10. So let's bring that out and we'll talk about that. Very good. The new ultralight monocoque frame from Colado. I can see no more two-piece. No more two-piece construction. And that's very important because it's the first ever monocoque high-end frame from Colado. Um, the advantages we get here are a lot in the weight savings as well as the comfort factor of the frame. A monocoque frame being one piece, vibration shared throughout the frame. So you have a much smoother overall ride quality than the two-piece construction. Mm -hmm. Your short distance criterion racer would probably still prefer the CX-1. It's a very lively, very snappy frame. This is much smoother overall. So where the CX-1 would be a criterion racing frame, this we call a stage racing frame. It's much better for longer distances, or somebody who's not a racer looking for the ultimate in performance, but a little bit more comfort. So the difference is here, massive down to we still kept the multiple shaping but we've basically changed it a little bit to add flat sides to the frame to get this construction we have to do an internal solid mold and an internal sorry external solid mold as well so the bladders to create the force are actually custom made around the inner mold and press against the outer mold. That's how we can get the multiple shapes in the tubing and get the clean mold without extra material or extra actually having a thin wall, which you don't want. Now, I heard those molds also were stainless steel. Is that true? Yes, we actually use a stainless steel mold, which is much more expensive to produce sure. than the lighter weight uh, aluminum molds that other people would use. Mm -hmm. So we have a very thin wall, but a massive tube and the largest stays we've ever had. Uh, this is well sub 1,000 grams, only 800 grams for a raw frame, which is very, very, very light. It's the lightest frame Colombo has ever produced. And we're very excited about it. And again, we have much, much smaller seat stays for much more vertical compliance. So we have really, really, really a great overall frame from Colombo. Now, in monocoque, uh, mm -hmm. how many frame sizes are we talking about? We have less than we have with the fully loved construction. So where this, you're not going to have quite the size run. Mm -hmm. You're going to have a 42 sloping, 45 sloping, 48 sloping, 50 sloping, 52 okay. sloping, 54 sloping, 56 sloping, and 58. So we're reduced to eight sizes. So you don't get the 27 sizes you get from the fully loved construction, but it will fit most riders. So that's it, still a lot of frame sizes. Though. It still is. It there it is, the, the M10. new M10. Thanks for watching.